Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is another Dollar Tree haul. So if you are new to my channel, I do love to make a lot of Dollar Tree oriented makeup and haul content. So if that is your thing, you are in the right place. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss a future upload. Of course, if you're returning, thank you for coming back to another Dollar Tree haul. This one's gonna be super exciting, I promise. As always, I'll have my Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist linked down below as well as any videos I mention throughout the course of this video. So definitely make sure you check those out and binge watch. And I just want to let you guys know, I finally found some stuff I've been waiting for. My last Dollar Tree haul, there were a couple things I had been on the hunt for and I was lucky enough to find at the other location. This location had some more items that I have been looking for. And in my last haul, there was a little bit of a teaser. I didn't know it at the time. I was able to pick up a few products and this store had even more. So if you wanna know what they are and to see all the amazing things I picked up, definitely keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with a couple boring items. Boring items, I say boring items, but they're actually very exciting. There are no boring items at the Dollar Tree, I don't feel. So anyways, I'll start with those first and then I'll get into what I am super excited about. So in my last haul, I was able to find the Crock-Pot liners from the Crock-Pot brand and this store had them as well. I picked up two more. I did open them up to make sure they fit my Crock-Pot and all that good stuff. So I now have four packages of these. Super exciting, a super good deal. Pretty much for the price I paid for four packs of six is what my last box of eight of the Reynolds brand that I buy at Walmart cost me. So super good deal. Definitely stock up on these at your Dollar Tree if you happen to see them. And then when I, years ago, when I moved in with my husband, he had this, you know men just have like random stuff. <laughs> he had this like box of like wax paper squares and it was kind of the kind of thing that I never really thought I would use. Then I found that I used them for all kinds of things and I haven't been able to find like a similar product, like a pre-cut something or other like that in the grocery store. So my Dollar Tree had these and I picked them up. It's the durable brand, Patty Paper Squares. You get 100 sheets and they're nonstick and they're designed for like the separation between like hamburger patties and stuff, but you can use them for cold cuts, cheese, frozen snacks, chocolates, caramel, taffy and more. So they're five and a half by five and a half inch. Let's open them up and see kind of what they are made out of. They are kind of like a parchment paper. I don't know, I just thought, I saw them for the first time and just thought they might come in handy. So a dollar for a hundred, you definitely can't beat it. And then I'm just doing a restock on my LA Colors setting spray. I always have this on hand just for when I do my Dollar Tree get ready with me's or I just need a setting spray. I usually always have this on hand, so that's a repurchase. So now we're gonna get into the rest of the items, which is like $30 worth of makeup, <laughs> as if I need any more makeup. But I did find at this Dollar Tree, at the last Dollar Tree, I hauled some makeup brushes and like some beauty sponges, some tweezers, all that kind of thing from the Ioni brand. This store had the makeup, finally. It's the first time I'm stumbling across it. I picked up the Ioni Face Finishing Spray. It's a lightweight misting formula to lock in your makeup. So I definitely wanted to give that a try. They also had the Face Hydrating Primer. It says it's lightweight and moisturizing and will help your makeup stay all day. It comes in this cute little pink container. And Ioni, as you know, or if you don't know, are cruelty-free and vegan. So I'm always hopeful, you know, as you know, I always say that mascara at the Dollar Tree leaves a lot to be desired. It's just not one of the products that they shine at but I'm always hopeful that I'm gonna find one. So this is the Ioni brand Dramatic Black Mascara. It says it's for instant volume and thickness. Uh, we will see. I will definitely be open to trying it. Let's go ahead and open it up. So it is a really, really thick bottle. Wow, that is a giant, giant brush. Of course, I can't try it right now, but we will definitely be trying this in a future get ready with me. So then they had a liquid felt tip eyeliner. It says it's waterproof, it's extremely black, and it's got, it makes a precise wing. So this is what the container looks like. We will definitely be swatching this. Very similar container to the mascara. So it looks like it's like one of the brush on liners, but it does have a felt tip so it applies like a pen. And that goes on really, really smooth. 
it is a very sturdy brush. So yeah, I am very, very excited to try this very soon. So I don't, I normally don't like a product like this because I don't have a lot of brow hair, but I wanted to pick it up and give it a try. This is the Brow Gel Perfect Brows Every Time. It's tinted and non-sticky. It's meant to tame and add volume to your eyebrows. This was the only shade they had. It was dark brown. Don't know if they have other shades or not. They did not at my store. So it's just a very standard size container and it's got a little brush tip. That's kind of how it applied. It smells really good. It kind of, kind of is a little bit of like a sweet smell. It doesn't really matter, but I just happened to notice the smell. Then they had this perfect brow mini kit. It's got a brow wax, a highlight, and two different colors of brow powders. So this would be probably like really great for travel where you don't want to carry like a bigger eyebrow kit. So this is actually the little container that it comes in. How cute is that? And it's got like a magnet closure. Does not seem to come with a brush, but they do have a brush that I did purchase in my last haul. It's fairly short and it's got a spoolie and a brush on the other end. So I will be using that with this. Then they had a pencil eyeliner. This is in precise black. It's got no parabens and it is waterproof. So I am always again looking for a good eyeliner from the Dollar Tree. So far, the, of course, the one that I've found is the LA Colors Retractable. That is the best I've found. So that's a really nice, like sleek pencil. Oh my goodness. This went on so smooth. I have such, look at the tip, that just looks like anything really, like any really good drugstore liner. And look at how smooth that looks. That went on with no effort. I am super excited. So far, just based on what I have tried on my hand, if you see it, run, don't walk, run. <laughs> There's still so many products, you guys. Please hang in there. So on to the next thing. This is the Brow Pencil. It doesn't have a shade. It's just like a brown. It says it's waterproof. It creates a natural brow and a perfect arch. We will see. Actually, on the back of the package, it says dark brown, which, you know, kind of works for me. Um, you know, sometimes it's a little dark for me, but, you know, I just make it work, you know. So, the, again, the pencil seems really, really luxurious, really nice feeling. It's got a little bit of a tug to it, but I think that's what's gonna make it kind of look really, really natural. That's actually a really nice shade. Doesn't seem offensive for a dark brown. I do like a little tug to my eyebrow pencils, as you know, so I'm very curious to try this. This, this might be a good universal shade with how it kind of applies. See, that's dark brown, but it really, it's not like some of the dark browns I've tried that are really dark brown. So I'm very excited to try this. Maybe it'll bump my LA colors out of first place. I don't know, that is my favorite, but we'll see. So they had two different shades of these. These are the tinted lip balms. They're a moisturizing tinted lip balm. So they had warm nude and pink nude. And I picked up one of each. I picked up another one of the pink nude for the giveaway. Then they had two shades of liquid lipstick. It says that they're comfortable, long lasting, and they are matte. This is the shade Mauve Pink. And this is the shade Cranberry. And they're really close. I had a really hard time deciding which shade to get. I just decided to get both. We're gonna go ahead and swatch them. So these would be wonderful to do like an ombre lip because they are really, really close. But you get the Mauve Pink on top and then the Cranberry on the bottom. Again, very, very close would make a beautiful ombre lip and both colors are really very similar but I'm very very excited to try both. So then they had a face highlight and a face highlighter slash bronzer. So the highlighter is in the shade Glow. It's for brightening and shining. It's got a soft texture and it's long lasting so that's going to make like a great highlighter. And then this is the a highlighter and a bronzer. It brightens and bronzes, has a soft texture, long lasting. This is in Golden Glow. So they come in the same, so they come in the same packaging that the um, eyebrow kit comes in. Super, super, super cute. So again, that's the package that the highlighter comes in. Super cute. So let's go ahead and swatch these, of course. So the bottom one is the more golden one, and then the top is the highlight. So then they had this glitter liner, which I'm super excited about. So it's long-lasting and cruelty-free. 
and it's kind of just a beautiful like holographic glitter. Of course we get to swatch it. Now this might be the first disappointment. It's not very, um, it's not very like pigmented. By pigmented I mean, you know, a lot of, it doesn't have a lot of punch, but we will definitely try it. You know, sometimes people don't like a whole lot of glitter. I'm just, I just love like a really striking glitter, but you know, you know, the average person sometimes wants something a little bit more subtle, so we will definitely try it out. And then they just had a clear lip gloss. It says it's moisturizing, non-sticky, and has high shine, and it's just a clear lip gloss in a tube. So we will kind of test it out and see. Look at that, that's like a nice old, like that's like a really cool looking tube. Man, I this kind of takes me back. I mean, there was a time where clear lip gloss was like the thing. A Little bit of a scent. It is very smooth, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be sticky. So we will see, we'll put it on top of, since the lip colors are matte, this would be a nice way to make them shiny if you wanted, or of course just to wear on its own. And then I got this Lip Spa Scrub. It's a gentle exfoliant, it's nourishing and repairing, it says. So here is what it looks like. And I did buy two of these. I bought one for me and one for you. And now the rest of the Ioni products I purchased for the giveaway, and then I've got some other makeup, including a brand that I have not seen. So the things I purchased from Ioni for the giveaway are this first, this makeup sponge. It's the teardrop shape. These are latex free. And here is what it looks like. I thought that would be perfect for a giveaway because who doesn't need a new makeup sponge? So I purchased these actually for myself the other day and I wanted to pick a couple more up for you. I get the flat blending brush and the round blending brush. And if you watch that haul, you'll see that these brushes seem really nice. I have not tested them out yet, but they seem really soft. And so yeah, these will be going in the giveaway as well. And then the last item for the giveaway, I thought this was really, 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 really cute. It's a mirror compact. It's lightweight and compact. It's perfect for travel and it's two-sided. So here it is. So I thought that was super cute. I didn't need one for myself, but I thought that would be awesome for the giveaway. So now there is this other brand, but it's this like B brand and it's not the other B brand. It's this B color or B pure. And it seems like it depends on just the item that I picked up. So I get a few items from them. One is they actually had two different shades. I only picked up one. This is the B color hydrating lip gloss with hyaluronic acid. This is in the shade Fire Quartz. I thought this was a beautiful shade. It says it enhances lip contour and creates shine. Doesn't seem to have any scent at all. And not a ton of color, but just a nice, really light, subtle wash of kind of coral pink. Then the same brand had this eyebrow highlighter. It says it's green tea infused, helps hide redness and inflammation, lifts your brows to create a fuller, wider glaze. It's just one of these like highlighting pencils. I also got the Mint Lip Sugar Scrub. And so I'm excited to give this a try. My lips always need it. So I will definitely let you know on these products, we'll try out the makeup items and all that good stuff. And I do have a couple of Wet n Wild items as well. They have this Wet n Wild, this is the Graphic Marker Eyeliner. And so I did wanna just pick it up. See, it's kind of got this packaging they put around it. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Well, so it's shaped, so it's actually kind of shaped like a like a calligraphy pen, if that makes sense. I guess it's so you can get some kind of crazy shapes and do kind of different things like they do, you know, on Instagram and all that stuff. Definitely excited to try that out. Then I picked up this lipstick. It's the Mega Last Lipstick Matte. And it came in this little package here. It's got the little lips on it, super cute. It's in the shade, it's hard to read, Fallen Persimmon, whatever that means. <laughs> So this is what the shade looks like. Really pretty, it looks like a really, kind of looks like a shade, like I don't really, I don't have many of these shades in my collection. It's kind of like a burnt orange, that's really beautiful. Like I said, that's not really a shade I have a whole lot of in my collection, so. I have way too many lip products, but I always feel better when it's something that I don't really have. <laughs> so I have two other shades of this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush, but this was a shade I don't have. This is in Fantastic Plastic Pink. And it was actually like the only one that they had, so I picked it up, of course. That's beautiful, it has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's this beautiful pink shade. It's actually very similar to what I'm wearing now. Always good to get like a slightly different shade, so we'll definitely be trying that out. I do love these blushes a lot. And then last but not least, and I'll have to look this brand up and let you know at the bottom of the screen. This looked like a brand, 
this looked like a like legit brand. I don't know how you say it, it's Sai, and there's a website on here that's like SaiEHello.com. Anyways, here is what these products look like. There, it's a three pack of these reusable makeup removing rounds. And so they're just these rounds, they're really soft. Um, yeah, I just, for a dollar, I could not pass these up just out of sheer curiosity. So I'm gonna look up and see if this is like a real brand and if I can find like a price let you know. It says machine wash warm, do not bleach, tumble dry, low heat, do not iron, do not dry clean. Of course, wash before you use them. So I'm super excited um, to look these up. So if you know, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. So I hope you enjoyed another haul. If you did, of course, show me you did by hitting that like button. Have you seen any of these products at your Dollar Tree? I know a couple people have mentioned the Ioni makeup. It probably like a month or two ago and it's taken my store this long to get it. So I'm super excited to try them in a future get ready with me. If you know anybody that may enjoy this video, definitely share it with them. I will have my last Dollar Tree haul as well as my Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist linked down below so you can binge watch more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.